who was munching on some grain by the schoolyard when she heard the children singing. Oh, oh you better not shout, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. Twas the night before Christmas. And all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not in the mouse. Mouse? The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. He knows when you are sleeping. He knows when you are awake. He knows when you've been bad and good, so we got more good in this shape. Well, after hearing such wonderful things about a Santa Claus, little brown field mice asked herself a question. I wish that I could share a Christmas. I wonder if old Mr. Goat could tell me more about the St. Nicholas. So onward she went to see old Mr. Goat. Oh, Mr. Goat, is that something with the little brown field mice? Santa Claus? Where, where did you hear such foolishness? Well, I was watching out some grain by the schoolyard when I heard some children talking and singing about Santa. Oh, please, Mr. Goat, tell me how I get the St. Nicholas to come to me. Well, uh, I heard you have to have a tree with lights and bulbs, but uh, my, my house was always too small for trees and lights, so uh, he, he never came to me, no. Thinking there could be another way, little brown field mouse went to see Mr. Dog, for he guarded the barnyard, and if Santa came to an animal, surely he would know. <laughs> Mr. Dog! Santa Claus? <laughs> I, uh, here you have to have, uh, uh, well, a chimney and, and stockings, but I never had chimney or stockings, so he never came to me. Uh, why don't you go talk to Mr. Horse? Why, he has shoes, which must mean he has stockings. <laughs> So, Blue Brown Field Mouse went off to see Mr. Horse and asked, Oh, Mr. Horse, does that close come to me even though I don't have a Christmas tree or a chimney or stockings? <laughs> well, um, I have stockings, but Santa has never come to see me. Perhaps you should write him a letter. Can you write? No. Mm. Well, maybe you should go and see Mrs. Owl then, for she is very wise and may be able to solve your problem. So, Blue Brown Field Mouse went to see Mr. Owl, Mrs. Owl and asked, well, Mrs. Owl, Santa Claus comes to me even though I don't have a Christmas tree or a chimney or stockings, and even though I don't know how to write. No, I believe you must be a child, and since you are only a field mouse, I don't think Santa will come to you. So after speaking to all of her barnyard friends and still not getting an answer she wanted to hear, little brown field mouse sadly crept into her hole. And that night, the animals met. <laughs> We've all tried to tell her that Santa just doesn't come to animals, but she won't believe. Well, Santa has come to us before, and I don't think he's going to come to us tonight. Well, why don't we all get together and get her a present of our own? Why, I could give up my bone. Mice don't eat bones. Oh. But I just got a new brush. What would a mouse do with a brush? But now I've got this new pair of reading Stop! Guns. He hasn't come before, and he's not coming tonight. We should let the little girl learn the truth so she won't get hurt later. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He's just an old goat. <laughs> later that night, in little brown field mouse's hole. Oh, Santa Claus, I know you're coming, but I just believe in you. I don't need a Christmas tree with colored lights and hanging bowls. And I don't need a chimney or stockings. <clears throat> I don't even have to know how to write. I hope. So little brown field mouse went to bed, and that night,
We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.